Hi, I'm Mark Cleggum. Welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're making a film on lighting. Uh, it's got a boudoir-esque kind of look and feel. It's also got a bit of a 50 shades kind of PVC frilly skirt, bit more kind of that kind of thing. So uh, again, but really the film is about lighting for drama, not just for boudoir, but pretty much for drama in portraiture. Uh, we've set up today uh, three lights. So uh, we've got two strip boxes uh, identical to each other, both four, uh, uh, 40 by 180s. They've both got egg crates, which uh, won't allow the light to kind of um, uh, spread. So it's controlling the light and things really. Uh, light tends to actually, as it comes out of anything, feathers. So as it comes out of something soft, like the, the front of a, diffu a diffusion material, it naturally feathers more and it starts to actually kind of uh, scatter. So an egg crate really controls the light, a bit like um, a honeycomb does and things. I've also got up a, a hoodie, uh, an umbrella, just a parabolic, um, and I've put that only in place really to kind of uh, demonstrate why not to contaminate the set with too many lights because what I'm going to hopefully show to you is why we'd want to actually just uh, photograph with kind of the two edge lights where possible and then possibly if we're going to add a frontal light then we kind of use it with more drama rather than actually just going for a bit of a bland light and things really. Got a great model with us today, Mila, she's a part of our kind of boudoir series as you know. Um, all of the models that we use you can pretty much find on any of the kind of modeling sites like Purple Port and so on. Um, but uh, again, as far as when you're booking a model, uh, you know, Mila is, is fabulous. You know the communication in advance, getting ready for the shoot. She knows what you're going to be doing. Uh, you know what she does and what she doesn't do and things really. And, and really talk to your models because they really do give you a lot more if you invest into them and vice versa with it. For the first time when a model starts to work with a photographer, they've got to actually learn kind of what is right, what is wrong, kind of how they work within your boundaries and your creativity, whether they need to give you more help or whatever it is. Uh, much of the time on the academy when we see us using models pretty much um, at most of the time they're kind of bringing their little bit of character in at the end of the kind of the animation so in other words I pose up first and then we'll uh, allow it to kind of flow and everything else which you'll see on lots and lots of our, tra our training films. So the setup here uh, I've just got a kind of a simple kind of stretchy panoramic background and we've chosen an 85 mil lens because we're in, port in portrait mode um, I'm shooting quite lower than normal, than normal, in fact, just because I want to get a little bit more kind of a fashion-esque kind of uh, height. So in other words, as a rule of thumb, when we're photographing kind of uh, above the bust, as it were, and head and shoulders images or classic, uh, we're shooting around about five feet two to six feet two. Uh, I don't mean the model's height, I'm on about the camera height, yeah. When we're photographing more fashion, we're basically shooting from about six inches uh, to around about two feet to three feet tops to obviously elongate the legs more. As it is, we're cropping above, above the knee joint, the classic crop, and then just a little bit of space above the head as such, really. 85 mil, F, F4, these two lights are on exactly the same group, okay? But what I want to demonstrate to you is where you position the model or the client uh, will have a dramatic difference to the photograph. Plus, when you actually contaminate with more light than you need, how you start to actually lose some of the drama. So let's bring Miegler on set and I'll show you the basic setup. Okay, so um, let's get you just turn, turn to the side. She's done there already. Let's go do a quick test shot. So there we go. One second while I get focus point. Okay, so uh, the image that we're looking at on screen now is basically making use of the edge light, all right? So we've got technically lights at uh, to camera position around about nine o'clock and three o'clock position, but they're slightly behind. In fact, they're not behind um, the subject. The subject is in front of them. I'm using that little bit more of the... Uh, the kind of the edginess of the light to actually allow a slimmer part of the light. So Mila, if you would take a full step away from me a minute. In fact, let's go to, okay, and do the same shot. If you're just kind of fiddling with the glove, looking down at the glove for me, that's cool just there, let's do it. So straight away, let me just focus on the eye. Uh, you can see now um, a lot more flat lit, okay, because she's technically in the, the kind of the whole part of the light itself. Mila, if you come, let's exag exaggerate it. If you come the other side of the tape line for me, that's it, brilliant there, and do exactly the same shot. I've got to come back a little bit just to get in the same frame. 
come up a little bit higher. One second. Uh, turning the body away from the other way, that's good. Okay, let's shoot it. So now we've got this great drama on the image uh, because she's right on the edge of the light and things, really. Now, I mentioned about contamination where you can add too much light in. Now, because Mila is not looking at me, realistically, uh, I don't need to actually light the face at all. Mila, if you look at me a second, just straight at me, please, darling. That's lovely. Uh, now we're going to see there's almost no light on the face at all. Uh, there's only just anything that is spilling in. So you might think, in fact, let's add in a frontal light. I'll, I'll show you what that kind of frontal light is. Let me just, uh, it is group one, one second. So this is just the umbrella by itself and it will give us a good illumination and for some of you that's going to be a great shot but it almost kind of kills a lot of the drama so um, because it's a big light source it basically is kind of just spilling around and even if i add in all of the lights together so all three back to me again darling that's good it's good just lean the head onto here just lean it on the side that's lovely it's there let's do it so even if we're doing that even though we've got illumination on her we've kind of got more of a lovely full-on glamorous style of imagery because we've given this front light too much dominant. It's, in other words, it's kind of getting around. Remember, all I've got to do is switch the front light off. So in other words, just choose group four. Don't get Mila to look at me. So again, looking down just towards the side a little bit more, darling. And now we've got more drama within the image. So straight away, it's understanding about what is the right kind of image for you and what isn't the right image. For me, more, more drama of the light, remember, is always about having that light coming in from behind. So let's do some kind of basic shots of how we could use the edge light, lighting as we are and how I could even kind of move uh, Mila just into the set more so I can start to actually shoot a little bit more kind of with the face, but just gonna use these strip boxes. Okay, Mila, let's pop both hands onto the nape of the back for me. Yeah, push it flat, push out, raise, raise the chin high. That's lovely, it's there. Let's lower the chin now and just look straight. That's, I love the pushing of the back though. Can you do the same shot for me? That's good, just there. Turn the back to me a little bit more and do the hand, um, uh, just the hands at the front, just as if you're adjusting your glove, yeah? Just in the gloves. Raise the chin up higher, darling. That's gorgeous there. Turn the nose to me a little bit more. That's lovely, great. Um, turning the head a little bit more for me again, that's cool. Turn to me with the head, there you go, that's great. Let's um, step away from me now, just away into this, that's brilliant there. Just do the same shot, but now you can actually turn your head to me a little bit and look towards me a touch more, can you? Just turn the head to me more, there you go. So from now, because we've moved in towards the light, uh, the light source, some of the head is beginning to actually kind of receive some of the light. If I want to do, uh, if you turn the body full on to me, quite wide-legged, hands on hips, very strong, it's gorgeous there. Lower the chin again for me, keep it. So now we've got this edge, edge light on the side. Can you put the hair behind both? That's lovely. Again, let's do it straight there again. Brilliant. Let's do the same shot, but turn them to the side and let's really stretch the hands up as if we're kind of pulling the, the, the glove down for me. That's, go that's gorgeous. Let me just shoot from a bit higher, just so I don't lose the background. Uh, arch the back as much as you can, darling. That's gorgeous, keep it. Relax. So we got a nice little kind of thing. Let's do with the legs. So let's put the front leg bent, so the knee forward more, give me a little bit of bottom. That's, that's it, same shot, one second. Stretch that glove. Turn the hand the other way round. There you go, it's lovely. Lower the chin more. It's a great shot. And again, one more. Brilliant, relax. So we've got nice draw, drama in there, but remember if I was gonna do that same shot on the edge of the light, there's gonna be less light coming onto her and everything else with it. Let's come straight onto me again. Turn on, wide-legged again, I think. Let's pop actually the hands uh, flat with the hands going down. That's good. Lower the chin again for me, keep it. And now just walk up to me half a pace. That's good, just there, keep it. I quite like you with the feet crossed, to be honest, or the leg, the one knee across, that's it. Lower the chin a little bit more, cockier, that's it. Another half step for me again. That's it, and again. Let me just focus on the face again. One more, I just missed your arm off. 
And if you come up to me again, just a little bit. Same thing. Now, at this point, there's no real light going actually onto the face. But remember, all I've got to do is kind of get her to look off. But I think if you step backwards that half pace again, like where the tape is, do the cross-legged once more, that's good. And look towards that light more, more, more. Raise the chin up a little bit more, darling. Eyes just to your left, just a touch more. That's the love is there. It's gorgeous, relax. So now we've got that lovely bit of light just actually coming onto the face. Remember, that is just the two lights. Let's do exactly the same thing and then contaminate it to kill it, yeah? Uh, because that's where it's all going to kind of fall, fall apart. Okay, let's do it again, please, darling. Okay, raising the chin more. So this is, remember, the shot without the umbrella. And then this is when I bring the umbrella in and relax. So this kind of just illuminates far too much of the front. So it's great for the PVC, again, if you want to uh, really kind of add more uh, detail within the shot and things, really, uh, then obviously we've got it. But if we're looking at the comparison, where we've got the side-by-side, -side, you can see the big difference. One image is all about dramatic and drama, uh, the drama with it. The other image is obviously kind of a little bit more kind of giving you that kind of reflectancy of the PVC more. So obviously if I was having to photograph for the likes of the PVC or you wanted to show that more, then again, obviously you've got to add in other lighting. But it doesn't have to be an umbrella, it could be a small soft box, it could be another gridded box, whatever it is. But really, if we, if we were thinking of the PVC as the client, and not so much Mila, the PVC needs to see a lot of light to reflect light. So even if we had a lower light here, if she was in full leggings in PVC as well, uh, basically, we would need uh, some form of reflector up, up lighting in some way to actually add that little bit more in. But this is a great way for us to bring drama just using the edge light itself. So, hope you've enjoyed this quick film. I'm just going to go on and finish the more fo uh, photographs with Mila. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>